Time to go inside TMZ now for all the ladies from Hollywood. With us, as always, is Dax Hall. Good morning, Dax. Good morning. How's everything going out there? How's the weather? I would tell you what, it wasn't turned out not to be too bad, so we're all pre sitting pretty pretty this morning. I want to talk to you, though, about Good. Dr. Conrad Murray because uh, what's going on with him? He, it seems like every day he's making some kind of waves. What's the latest that you guys found out? Well, here's the latest thing. We talked to his lawyer who said he's not worried about a trial coming up and any possible jurors because he says, you know, Conrad Murray's just as inspirational as Michael Jackson, which I can't even believe came out of the lawyer's mouth, but he said that his story, because he went, came from poverty and grew up and became a very successful doctor, that uh, the jurors will side with him. And I'm thinking, no, 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 no. Let the jurors make up their own mind. This is a huge high-profile case, and uh, don't start putting words into their mouth. And I don't really find that inspirational if... Uh, you're behind the death of a huge, huge superstar, so we'll see what happens. Well, I tell you uh, what else uh, is not very inspirational is the interview that John Mayer gave to Playboy. I mean, it's almost like he's out of his mind. I, he, he's throwing around racial slurs, and, and I know he apologized for it, but it almost seems like he's saying, I'm sorry that I said it, not that I actually feel this way. What's your take on that? Yeah, it was interesting because, you know, he's done a lot of interviews, and you know, I, I think the number one thing, you never bring up the N-word in a, a magazine article, any article, uh, any time, that is. And he did, and he was, he came back and he apologized for it, and he said, look, you know, I was trying to uh, uh, just go at one angle. It totally turned and backfired. Yeah, intellectualize it, and it backfired on me, and he apologizes, and I don't know, if you read the entire article, you just go... You know what, John, you just don't bring it up, no matter what. You know, you, you can't do that because this word is such a strong word at this point. And uh, he, he apologized, but I don't know. You just don't say it. I know. It, it just seemed to me that, uh, that it was crazy for him to even bring any of this up. And I know he wants to be, like, raw, and he wants to be... He, he has an interesting sense of humor, and he wants to bring that out. But it's like, oh, he just really crossed the line and was inappropriate. In any case, and, go ahead. And I think... I think he did it for shock value is honestly what I okay. think it is because he brought up Jessica Simpson's relationship, uh, Jenna Aniston's relationship, and so there's a lot of things in there you go, wow, I can't believe he'd say it, and I think that's kind of why he did it. Very interesting. Hey, just lastly before you go, uh, The Rock is co-owner of uh, Can You Smell What The Rock Is Cooking? I love that. Tell me about it real quick. <laughs> Well, we asked him, you know, do you still own the rights to that phrase and the other phrases that you've become famous for, or does WWE own them? And he goes, look, you know, I'm not sure, maybe both of us. And then we started asking about his little panties that he would wear around in the ring, and he was like, these are not <laughs> panties, they were little shorts. But it's just a funny little interview, so I, I'm pretty sure we have that up on the website, and you can check out the whole thing, it's funny. Awesome, Dex, thanks so much. I think you should open a restaurant chain with that uh, phrase. Mm -hmm. You can catch TMZ <laughs> TV right here on Fox Providence at 6.30, and for more information on any of these stories, just head to our website, foxprovidence.com.